Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the MTS Industry Show at Leader Automation, one of Taiwan's top providers of automation solutions, mainly for the machine tool industry. But if you have seen the first part, then you will know that the company has more to offer besides automation solutions for the manufacturing industries. In the first episode, we introduced the Berispot, a robotic coffee vending machine. And we did that together with their international sales representative, Miss Sandy Zhang. Sandy, welcome back to the show. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm so excited to introduce our beverage robot. And I'm excited to learn more about this machine. And you just mentioned that it's a beverage robot. However, there won't be any coffee for us today, right? Yes, today we try some different several kinds of tea. Okay, teas. What kind of teas? We can see some over here already displayed. So this is green tea mm -hmm. and bubble tea. Bubble tea, very yeah. important in Taiwan. Yes, and black tea. Black tea, okay, that could be my favorite. Yes. Milk tea, okay, yes. all kinds of teas, right? Yes. And just like with the Beris bot, I can also come up with my own creations. Of course, like Paris Bar, you can make your own drink, own robots. Yes. Okay, and um, if I am not mistaken, this machine here, the beverage robotic vending machine that we are seeing here, it's a world first when it comes to the bubble tea. Yes, it's a world premiere. It's ready to sell the whole world. Okay, bubble tea robotic vending machine will take over the world. Yes. All right, and again, just like in the first episode, for this machine, we will talk about the price for the machine later on, but for the MTS Industry Show today, we have a special discount. Yes, for MTS Show, we have 20 limits price for our Roomba. Okay, so the first 20 machines that will be sold, yes. will be sold at a very special price. Yes, special Beautiful. discount. Nice. All right, Sandy, so let's get right into it. Let us introduce the beverage robot made by Leader. So before we talk about some numbers, especially how potential inv investors can make their money back, we want to talk about some general features and the general values of this machine for your customers. Of course, the drinks could make good margin of profit and the machine cost is easy to cover. For each orders, the machine could make up to nine cups of drinks. Nine cups at the same time? Yes. Okay. And it could continuously receive orders. Because of that, our customer could save personnel costs mm -hmm. and lower operating costs. Okay. Besides, this technology is new and eye-catching. So the beverage robot is the excellent tool for all the customers. Okay, so attracting customers with a very nice design. Yes. And very nice features. Yes. All right, uh, so when talking about uh, robotics, automation, when it comes to coffee or beverages in general, there are certainly some trends around the world in the market. So can you talk a little bit about that and also how your machine competes with uh, machines from other providers? That's right, Camille. We follow the latest trend very closely. And for talking about uh, competitive advantage, mm -hmm. I want to highlight three. First one, the beverage robot is an uh, innovative technology, but we already have several years experience in the market. So we are the very reliable partner for you. Secondly, the software and most of hardware are manufactured ourselves, so we could control over the quality totally. And for the components, we don't manufacture ourselves, we only trust the very best suppliers. Okay, so just the very best quality. Yes. Okay. Finally, our standard version beverage robot is about 130,000 US dollars. And if you are familiar with this kind of product, you will know our price is very competitive. All right, a very competitive price, but still 130,000 US dollars. That's quite an investment. So I'm sure people watching would like to know um, when will I get my money back? So Sandy, can you break it down for us? What can I expect in terms of profits and in, in what time will I get my money back? 
Yes, it's a very good question for all the customers. If we assume 300 cups could be sold a day, and a year you could sell 110,000 cups in a year. Okay. Oh, it's huge, right? Right, 100, yeah. 110,000 cups yes. per year. All right. Yes. What about the profits? The profit, we assume one cup could make 2.5 US dollars, mm -hmm. and the annual profit is about 270,000. After US. one year? Yes. So I've got my money back and I could buy a second beverage board from Leader. Yes, and you could make money in only six months. Okay. The machine could cover. Ret return on investment yes. within six months roughly. Yes, besides if you combine with other snacks or desserts, you could earn your money back more quickly. All right, excellent. Now, Sandy, let us talk about every aspect of the Leader Beverage Robot one by one. And we want to start with the size of the machine, the dimensions. It's very important for people to know yes. how much space do I need in my location. The machine's dimensions are 3 meter by 3 meter by 2 meter. And consider the maintenance space you may need. The final space is about 13.2 square meters at least. The voltage used by this machine is single phrase voltage. 220 volts, current 40 amps, and the frequency 50 or 60 hertz. What's more, our machine didn't have any decoration on the appearance. You can easily create your own stylish shop. If you have no idea about your decoration, we could offer the template for reference as well. It could save a lot of time for starting a new business. Okay, I like that, Sandy. Now. We talked earlier about the different types of beverages that you can potentially create to sell with this machine, but I wonder how many items, how many types can I uh, enter at any given time, at the same time? It's more than 20 different combinations, mm -hmm. including hot and cold, and all comes from the several basic tea types, such as black tea, green tea, oolong tea, etc. We also offer other drinks options, like milk and bubble. In addition, fructose machine and blender are the standard accessories, which could adjust the sweetness level and add different kinds of juice. Okay, I see, great. Now, Sandy, let us talk a little bit more about the ordering process itself from the consumer's perspective. Like, if I was a customer, I wanna order a drink, then I use the kiosk here, right? So let yes. us walk over there. This is a self-ordering kiosk, so maybe you can tell us a little bit about uh, this piece of equipment and also about the ordering process. Sure, the kiosk size is 82 by 71 by 180 centimeter mm -hmm. and has a 32 inch touch screen mm -hmm. and also has a voice reminder okay. to teach you how to order your drinks. All right, so here we are. This is the menu. What would yes. you like to drink? Mm, what do you want to drink? Green tea. Okay, let's go. Green okay, tea. Okay, so I just choose the drink I like and then I have some other options. Yes, you can choose your sugar level. Mm -hmm. uh, which one do you like? No sugar for me. No sugar, okay. Ice cube? Okay, uh, sure, regular. Okay, do you want to add some ingredients? Please. Okay, do you have one? I don't know, two? do you want one as well? Okay, let's make two. Okay, and then I just check out, yes. I guess? Check out. All right, so here we have the confirmation screen. Yes. Okay, and then need to confirm one more time. Yes. And there we are. Okay, so now payment. We want to talk about payment because, uh, of course, you're selling your machines all around the world. So yes. obviously you can pay with cash. And in Taiwan, we have what kind of options? We have EasyCar, iCash, and iPass. Okay, but I know that you also, the system supports API, right? So yes. you can adjust it to any other uh, digital payment method. Yes, we offer API, which is called Programming Library, mm -hmm. to let engineer connect with the POS system. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you have any type of payment uh, wherever you are in the world, uh, it can be supported for your customers. Yes. Okay. And the kiosk is idling. Mm -hmm. You could play your commercial video. Okay, so you can also use this screen as a ad space, basically. Yes. All right, so that was the self-ordering kiosk. Now, Sandy, once a customer has chosen the drink that he or she would like to get, 
the robotic arm comes into play and prepares that beverage. Now, in the beginning, you mentioned that most of the components that we see here, you manufacture yourself, yes. but for the robotic arm, you have a trusted supplier, right? Yes, we cooperate with internationally well-known robot manufacturer. And you can see the Industrial 6 SS robot has won Reda Design Award. Oh, okay. The robot could move flexibly, high precision, high rigidity. The hardware doesn't need regular maintenance, could save maintenance fees, and provide a local technical support and after-sales service from countries all around the world. Okay, so local support around the world. We'll talk about your after-sales services later on. Now, we want to focus on the cup on the cup dimensions to be precise. So Sandy, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the standard cup size for this beverage robots and also how they are stored. Sure, the size you can see in Asia are very common mm -hmm. and the size is 660 millimeter. Mm -hmm. And we have five storage units mm -hmm. in the machine. Okay. And each one could hold 50 cups. Okay, so five units, 50 cups, so 250 cups total. At any yes. given time. Yes. Okay, so you just said 660 milliliters. That's the uh, cup size that we're seeing right now. Yes. But uh, as we mentioned, you have customers all around the world. So different markets, different requirements. So I'm sure we can customize the cup size or customize the machine to be suitable to, uh, for other cup sizes. Of right? course, we could modify the machine design according to different cup size to make customer demands. Okay, excellent. Now, I remember when we were introducing the Berispot uh, robotic uh, coffee vending machine, we were talking about another very important topic, which is safety, safety of your customers, health of your customers. And therefore, the Berispot is equipped with water filtration systems. Yes. Now, that's also true for the beverage robot? Yes, for ice storage mechanism, our robot has two building water filtration systems to filter heavy metal, toxic pollutants, carcinogens, and impurities larger than 0.1 micron. Mm -hmm. Also, we suggest the filter should be replaced per year or when filtering 4,300 gallons of water. Okay, so that ensures that uh, customers always get clean, healthy water yes. in their drinks. Yes. All right, Sandy, now we talked about the storage for the cups, 250 at one time. Yes. What about the tea itself or the drinks? How many liters uh, of uh, tea can I store? Our standard version has enough space for eight dispensers and each one could hold 24 liters and the capacity could be changed by customer's demands. Mm -hmm. Also, there is a liquid sensor for detecting the level of beverage storage. Okay, now that was the storage of the tea itself, but we also have some other ingredients such as uh, bubbles for yes. bubble tea or tapioca, right? Yes. So what about that storage? The container can hold 8 liters and that's enough for 60 cups. And our boba machine has unique method to extend boba storage time. Okay, so I can store the bubbles for my bubble tea for a longer time than I usually would. Yes. Okay, and uh, speaking of hygiene, speaking of food safety or beverage safety in this case, we also want to talk about the ice cubes, right? Because if you don't have a mechanism in place to keep them clean, you might have some germs there, yes. right? But you have another mechanism there to prevent that, right? Yes, there's a closed ice storage mechanism, which can store six kilograms each time mm -hmm. and make 120 kilograms of ice cube per day. All right, and uh, how about the milk for, for milk tea, for example? Of course, our standard version has 62 liter refrigerator and has 15 liter containers. For example, like for milk, mm -hmm. and there will have a liquid sensors. If the milk is running out, mm -hmm. they will notify you. So the system will let me know if uh, the milk is almost gone. Yes. All right. Um, next up, we want to talk about the how you automate the sealing process and also sometimes uh, you would like to uh, stick a label onto it so the customer knows what he or she bought, right? So yes. how does that work? We use a commercial sealing machine that is made in a Taiwan company. The machine has good performance and high stability. Drinks need to be labeled for recognition. You can choose the inkjet printing or labeling. 
Okay, so Sandy, if I was a customer, I ordered my drink at the kiosk there that we talked about. And then how do I know when my drink will be ready? We use the 50-inch screen to show our customers their order's number mm -hmm. conveniently. And also we can play the commercial video when the beverage robot is idle. Okay. When drink is done, the number will show on the screen. You can use your QR code to scan and take your order. Okay, and enjoy my drink. Yes. Okay, but Sandy, what happens if maybe I'm busy, maybe I'm taking a phone call and I'm not paying attention? What happens to my drink? We have a voice reminder to remind you to take your order. Okay. But if you didn't catch your order in only three minutes, okay, okay. they will dispose them. Okay, so the uh, machine automatically disposes of the drinks. Yes. Because probably that person left already. Yes. Now, we also uh, want to talk about another topic, which is uh, how you control this data and how you make adjustments. Of course, you can do this here at the kiosk, yes. but you can also do this remotely, right? Yes, let me show you the back end first. And you can see the status of this machine. Mm -hmm. Everyone is no more. Okay. And when it has something happen, it will notify you via okay. the communication okay. system. So status for the robot itself, um, statistics for how many drinks are still in store in, in the storage right and yes. the inventory okay yes and you can change your price mm -hmm. and right now is it's free. very cheap yes okay but you can change what you want mm -hmm. and this is daily sales okay yes and then we also have the remote control That's option right. yes da -da 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 -da. wait me a second okay as you can see this one is almost the same on the backend system. Mm -hmm. So I've got all the same statistics that I have here. Yes. Because it's the same backend. So you just yes. have a website, I log in, and I have the same controls that I have here. Yes, and I didn't say about the mm -hmm. inventory. Mm -hmm. You can see the inventory, uh, how many mm -hmm. cups yeah. or sugar or right. something else. And when you need to refill it. Yes. Okay. So I think now we've covered the controls. Yes. Remote controls and of course also controls directly here right next to the beverage robot. Yes. All right, Sandy. So before we talk about leader automation after sales services, why don't you tell us a bit about certifications or maybe patents that you have for the beverage robot? Of course, our beverage robot has passed C certification and got several patterns for automatic function mm -hmm. of beverage robot, which show our innovation capability. All right, automation innovations. Yes. So Sandy, uh, we talked about local support earlier during the show. Now let's talk about uh, other after sales services. So how do you support your customers right after selling the machine? You help them set it up and also what happens if they run into any trouble with the machine, troubleshooting? Sure, we will teach them how to use the machine, replace the supplies, and troubleshooting. The critical parts meet international standards and are easy to replace. The inventory of components is complete and it could be supplied for more than 10 years. No matter where you are in the world, we will serve you immediately. All right, so an all-around comprehensive after-sales service. So Sandy, we're at the end of today's show, uh, MTS Industry Show at Leader Automation. Thank you so much for no introducing problem. the beverage robot today. Okay. Now, before we say goodbye, maybe you can share with us what can we expect from Leader Automation in the future in terms of innovations. Sure, for future development, we have two main points. One, creating even more service robot applications and introducing new automation solutions to improve people's daily life. And of course, we will continue promoting Taiwan tea culture. Okay, excellent. So definitely looking forward to seeing new innovations from Leader Automation in the future. And of course, looking forward to how you are going to continue to promote Taiwan's tea culture and of course, Taiwan's upcoming coffee culture with the Bereese bot. 
for sure. So, Sandy, thank you very much again. You're welcome. And thank you for watching today's show. If you want to learn more about this beverage robot, beverage robotic automatic vending machine made by Leader Automation, you can just contact Sandy. Just yes. give her a ring or send her an email. And you can also go to the Leader Automation website to learn more about the company and their automation solutions. This was MTS Industry Show at Leader Automation, episode two. We'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.